Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do some soil testing. Now every season I would go to Home Depot or Lowe's and I would see these and if they're on sale I would pick up a few bags here and there to try and I really can't tell which one works the best. So today we're going to put those to the test to see uh, how they work against each other. So as a disclaimer, this is just um, a, a test for myself. I want to know which one works best. That way I can just buy that only and forget about the rest. And the test is very simple. I'm just going to grow these seedlings here that I have started just for this purpose. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I only need five. And uh, I'm going to just put the soil in this container here directly without any mixing right out of the bag and then I'm going to transplant one of the plant in here and then do that for the rest of them and then wait and compare so that's the test is as simple as that is nothing scientific and there's really no control factor uh, as in the real test would do uh, you know in the real test you would have multiple plants uh, grown under a control condition uh, seeds uh, have to be started a certain way and all that stuff but we're not going to follow all that we're just going to do some simple testing soy in the bucket grab those lettuce and then transplant that's it and then we'll wait so uh let's go ahead and begin okay the first one we're using is the dr earth pot of gold organic here and then we have the black cow manure then this is the garden soil all-purpose these usually go on sale for like two dollars or something like that that's usually when when i buy them and this is the vigoro uh, all-purpose and then you have the stay green flower and vegetable these are also usually go on sale for two dollars that's when I get them so those are the five okay we'll start with the dr. earth and we'll carefully grab a plant out of here without damaging anything roots and all and then we'll place it in here and then we have our sign next we'll have our black cow okay we'll take the next plant Okay, the stay green is next. And this particular one looks very much just like crushed up mulch. So hopefully it's good. Okay, Vigoro. Okay, lastly we have the Miracle Grow. All right, guys, here they are. And I apologize that some may look larger than the others, but they all started at the same time 
and I really couldn't control how fast they grow. But these are the only uh, test subjects that I have, so we'll just have to work with that. Um, here they are. So what I noticed about the difference between the soil is like the stay green here is such a very light fluffy soil. I think this would be a great mixture to add to the black cow. Combine them together they would make a great mix because these are like nicely uh, crushed mulch and these are almost like a clay uh, type. So uh, it is very very heavy and this is very light. So this and this together with a little bit of perlite I think it's going to make a perfect soil. But anyway, this is where they're going to sit and I will come back in about a week or two and let you see the differences in their growth. But before we do that, we have to water them. Okay, so we're going to do a thorough water on all of them. Okay, here is another look at them before I close this out. We will be back soon and we'll see which one grows well. Alright guys, it has been six days now and there is a little bit of a minor setback. A few days ago we have crazy storms and you know it started blowing at the leaves and then kind of damaged, you see here? and blown some of the leaves out look at that so um i wanted to show this just in case <laughs> you guys are wondering why the plants look so bad but yeah it's been six days now and uh they, they are still growing fine it's just uh, the damage so we might have to plug off the damaged leaves and then allow them to keep continuing anyway that is the six days update Okay guys, it has been 19 days now and the plants are making a really nice recovery. Uh, it grew a little bit like these guys here. This one is the Vigoral. I think that's how you say it, all-purpose. And this is the Miracle Grow all-purpose. It recovered a little bit. That one didn't do too well. And then this is Dr. Earth. That one didn't <laughs> recover too much and the black cow actually will cover the best because it was the smallest plant after the damage and look at this it's actually making its way back and then the stay green this guy is just outgrowing all of the other plants and i think the reason for this is that the soil is very soft and fluffy and it's very very light in comparison to the rest so the roots can move around easily so it would cover the best because you know if the roots can move around it can breathe and it can expand and it collect the nutrients it needs because the root can travel deeper faster because of how light and fluffy it is so that's the reason why it uh, it actually performed the best and th this bag is actually only two bucks as opposed to these that are more expensive I think the the Dr. Earth is the most expensive and then the black cow and these are next so that's that's the progress in 19 days so far this is in the lead okay welcome back today's day number 25 and this will be the last update of my experiment and the purpose of this experiment is for my own interest because I got this bag of soil at Lowe's for two dollars and uh, I was iffy about how well this would work because it's so cheap but um, these here were much more expensive the black cow is like I think it's five dollars and thirty cents or something the Dr. Earth is ten dollars the Miracle Grow depends on the size it could start at four dollars and same with the Vigoro so I wanted to see if the two dollar bag would work as well as the rest so this is why I did this test but again as I mentioned this is not a controlled uh, climate test and there's many very variables that I left out so uh, it may not be a fair comparison and I may have to do this again in the future uh, you know more controlled 
but uh, anyway the stay green did the best and I, I, I kind of had the feeling because the soil was the lightest and light soil fluffy soil is easy for the roots to move around and collect the nutrients it needs and also breathe so I think that's why it performed the best and then the black cow and these are the a really good manure type composted manure and I use that often in my soil but I don't use it alone I mix it up and because these are pots I think the 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 these soil here were formulated for other purposes and not just to be in potted soil so when you use them in potted soil I think you should sort of like mix it a little bit because if they're too heavy they become compacted after uh, you know watering over and over and over and then you know like if you water and then the water stays at the top for a long time before it, it evaporated down or drained down that's because uh, that's the type of soil that are, that are kind of like clay type and uh, for pots uh, for growing in pot those may not be the best so you want to mix something in with it and uh, for this one here it it's really soft it's nice fluffy and when you water it drains right through so um, that one that one seems to uh, do the best or did the best in, in pots so anyway guys so uh, this is the experiment um, I just wanted to see if those cheap soil would work and uh, now I know that it worked just as well so I'm going to uh, buy more of those if I see them on sale so um, I hope this will help you guys decide that some cheap soil may work too and the expensive ones may not always be the best for for pots uh, it may be good for like landscaping and maybe uh, for your raised bed or something like that but for pots I would recommend a lighter, a lighter type of soil anyway thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe